Guys, I've just booked flights as in five minutes ago to America, to Los Angeles. We're going to arrive there in a couple of days, only a few days time. Now, I booked the flights because of the, well, Shani has always wanted to go to Disneyland. She's always wanted to go to Los Angeles. And we just got her results back from her recent PET scan or, you know, scan of how her cancer's going. And well, we're coming to America. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Nearly two years ago, Shani was diagnosed with stage four cancer. And honestly, doctors didn't think she'd be here. Her surgeon said to her a few months ago, I can't believe you're still alive. Anyhow, we got the results back. They came back when myself and the boys were on our road trip in the XPing G6, and we were hiking together in the mountains in Victoria. Anyway, she got the results that um, it had spread to the liver and the lungs, and there was lots of spots. It wasn't what we were hoping for. She was hoping for something else. We were hoping for her to be able to get some surgery and get some of the spots, some of the stuff removed. But now that can't happen because it spread quite a bit. I just said, you know what? You've always, you've, you want to go to Disneyland. You want to go to Harry Potter World. You want to go to LA. Let's let's go now. So we decided that this after, or this evening. And I just jumped on, booked the flights to Los Angeles with United Airlines. So our flight actually leaves here, Australia, Australian Eastern Standard Time, 9.30 a.m. on Thursday, October the 3rd. Two days, literally two days before we leave. So we've got two, <laughs> less, less than two days to get packed and get organized. Guys, if any of you, you know, are in LA or San Francisco, we're gonna to drive to San Francisco, I want to see the Tesla factory and I also want to go and see the 49ers play. 49ers are my favorite sports team in America and I love Brock Purdy. Uh, I don't know why, but the NFL just appear, has always a, appealed to me, especially the last few years. I've really gotten into it, really enjoy watching it. So I'm looking at tickets for, trying to get some tickets for the 49ers game, which is on this weekend. Well, not this weekend, sorry, it's on what well, Monday or well, Sunday, I guess, in the US. So this this Sunday, I want to go see the 49ers game. They're playing the Arizona Cardinals. So that should be a lot of fun. I've never been to an American football game before, NFL game before, and would love to see it. I also want to see a baseball game. I love baseball. I don't know why, but baseball really appeals to me. Shohei Otani's been amazing this year. Anyhow, hire a car. I'm looking at getting a hire car. This is the plan get a high car from the airport in LA and then drive to San Francisco, do some stuff there, come back to LA, go to Harry Potter World for Shani and the boys, Jack and Cal, they're really, really excited. And that's the trip. Guys, if you have any other ideas, anything you want to share with me, contact at theelectricviking.com. That's my email address. You're welcome to send me any ideas or any tips you have. Um, I'm certainly would be interested to see any, any thoughts? I know Americans, I know you guys have um, the inside knowledge. Now I did actually, I have been there, we have been there before, a long, long time ago. It's nearly 20 years ago we were there, 15 years ago. We rode our bikes, Shani and I rode our bikes from Portland down to Mexico. And so we, we took Highway 1 all the way. Uh, we did see a bit of San Francisco then but we didn't spend that much time. We were on our bikes just riding constantly. We were trying to ride around the world. And that was an amazing experience. I loved it. And I've mentioned on the channel how we were helped by Americans, uh, particularly a few different people. But we, in fact, we got to stay at people's houses. And it was the hospitality was unbelievable. I honestly, I mentioned this on the channel a number on a number of occasions. And sometimes I feel a bit of emotional about it, actually, because... One of the experiences we had, we were riding our bikes and it was on, I think the Devil's Slide, I think it's called, a dangerous, really dangerous bit of road where I think people have died. And we we're riding our bikes on there, a huge storm broke out and it was just hammering with rain. We didn't have really the right clothing because it was summer. We weren't prepared for the kind of uh, torrential kind of winter conditions that hit at that point in time. And we were just thinking, I was kind of, starting to shake and shiver and we both had uh we, we both had sort of parasites and so we were we were kind of low on energy a lady saw us 
drove home. She didn't say anything. She drove home to her house because she had the wrong car. She couldn't pick us up. She got a different car and drove all the way back to find us in her van. She found us, said, get in the car, get in the van. I was just thinking, wow, this is amazing. This woman's gone all the way, or drove, driven her vehicle all the way home, driven all the way back out with a different car to try and find us. She's found us. She said, get in, the, get in, and she took us home, and we stayed at her place for four days while the storm, this storm lasted for four days. And I remember it was just amazing. It just rained nonstop for four days. It was unbelievable. We got back on our bikes, and we had this perfect tailwind. The very first day, it was beautiful weather. The very first day we left her house, it was one of the best days of my life ever on a bike. Tailwind was amazing. I just felt incredible. I don't know what happened, but... Anyway, we had a few experiences like that. We had another guy, we, we first arrived, when we first arrived in Portland, we caught a train all the way across, all the way from, I believe it was New York to Portland. And when we first arrived in Portland, uh, we went into a pub to buy a meal. And a guy, a guy walks in, over to us and he says, um, hey guys, you know, how are you going? Obviously in an American accent. And we said, you know, we're from Australia. And he, and he said, oh, you've got anywhere to stay here tonight? And I said, we said, no, we haven't figured something out yet, but we will. He said, you're welcome to come over to my house. I have a farm. I have I'm an, a marijuana farm. So a weed farm. And you can smoke all the weed you want. <laughs> and so we said, thanks, man. We really appreciate it. But it was out of our way. It wasn't in the direction we were heading in. Uh, we, we had a few offers like that. In fact, um, quite a few people offered us marijuana, weed. We saw one lady in a little town in California, countryside town. We were in this little hotel. It was a really cheap little hotel. We walked out of the hotel. And I saw a lady jump the fence. And I was thinking, what is going on here? This lady jumps the fence. She has two big garbage bags. And I said to her, oh, what have you got in your garbage bags? And she said, she showed me. They were, f- they were full of marijuana, just full, completely full. Anyway, she started running, took off. And it turns out that town, that town actually is one of the places where they grow it. And it's, there's farms of it everywhere. So quite an eye-opener. Anyhow, guys. That's the story. That's why we're coming to America. We'll be there for 10 days. Uh, We leave on the 3rd of October and we fly back home on the 13th of October. Can't wait. Looking really, really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching.